All right, this is uh, for Laser Saber and John and the, all the guys over at the uh, forum and TK and such. And uh, I've been busy, so I haven't posted many videos lately. But uh, this is something I bought from uh, Laser Saber, laserhacker.com. And it is called the Soul in 1 8. And uh, he puts these together and sells them. Uh, you can buy them and have them shipped to you. It's a ground transportation, so it takes a while. But what it is, it's a solar panel that has a power bank, a 15,000 milliamp per hour power bank attached to the back. And it uh, has the ability to uh, charge up a great many things um, or run, uh, run things... Uh, straight off the panel if you want to. It's basically a cell phone charger type thing, but all your USB devices, uh, there's four ports, uh, can plug into this thing. And I hooked up the uh, uh, power meter on it to show the um, power and the amperage, uh, the voltage and the amperage uh, coming out of the um, lithium battery and then uh, running a load. And what I've got running here is a uh, Slayer Exciter and it's powering a motor wirelessly but the uh, purpose of, of that device there for me was I wanted something I could put in the window and uh, it would charge up from uh, sunlight coming through the window rather than have it outside and then uh, if we had a power outage, I could plug in uh, lights or a fan if I wanted to. And I'm going to probably use this on the boat. Now this, uh, this uh, little Slayer Exciter does the usual stuff here. Probably can't see that because it's daylight. But uh, let's see if I get to start up again here. Yeah, it's too bright in here to really see that. But... Uh, this was kind of neat to have a power supply that I could just set here on the table that would uh, run some of my little projects um, using just solar energy. And so anyway, I thought I'd share that with uh, the folks. And if you can find one of these little uh, power banks, you know, they sell them for five bucks or whatever, um, that thing there will charge these up, the solar panel, of course, and it has a charge controller on the panel uh, pretty darn quick and uh, they had these at the 99 cent store for a dollar and this is a real small and it's only a little over a thousand milliamp per hours but they've got them a lot bigger and uh, if you have this thing set up like I do here it'll run a lot of your projects and that was quite a find was to find out that these little power banks these five volt power banks or run a lot of your projects and uh, this is a Slayer Exciter uh, that I'm running uh, the little motor uh, wirelessly off of but anyway that's a, a report on this uh, solar panel with the power storage device attached to it on the back it's attached with velcro so you can take it off and carry it around with you uh, or put it someplace else um, I did some tests with this outside, and one of the objections, and I have to say uh, it, it is a valid one, is the heat. And uh, that got up to over 100 degrees in direct sunlight, so you would have to be careful that you wouldn't overheat it. It's rated up to 160 um, degrees, but uh, like I say, you'd have to be careful that you didn't overheat this thing. And that's the only thing that I saw as a problem. Other than that, I really like it, and for my use, I'm going to have it inside, just pointed at a window. Uh, it's going to work uh, quite nicely. So anyway, that's the report on the Solon 1.8 and how I've applied, uh, applied that little device to run some projects. Thanks for watching.